October 23rd, 2021. I completed my first Ironman triathlon, a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and a 26.2 mile run, all in the same day. The night the race ended, I searched high and low for a food challenge, but I was unsuccessful. Instead, I opted for this pathetically small pizza and went to bed. The next morning, I woke up with one thought on my mind. I need to find a buffet as soon as possible. Everyone, I am in Texas because I just finished my first Ironman. Proud of myself for getting through one of the craziest, most insane days of my life. So I feel like it's time for a little post Ironman celebration. After doing some research, I found a local restaurant called Luby's, which serves up delicious comfort food. I decided that this would be the perfect place for my post Ironman feast. So without further ado, folks, it's time to go crush some food. All right, everybody, so the cool thing about Lovey's is that it's cafeteria style. They have tons of different options to choose from. They got chicken fried steak, they have fried fish, which is what they're most known for, fried chicken, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, so many different options to choose from. So I'm gonna break this down into three different rounds. I'm gonna try to get in as much deliciousness as possible. So without further ado, it's time to get into round number one. All right, everybody, it's time to get this first round officially started. We have a lot of deliciousness right here. I got mac and cheese, corn, fried pork chop right there, and mashed potatoes, fried chicken over here, some rolls. All right, so I'm gonna start with their broccoli cheddar casserole first. Let's do this. Boom. That gets fire. Ooh, that's good. All right, now we're gonna try this fried pork chop right here. Boom. Mm. Mashed potato, gravy central. Now it's time for the tri-tip. Let's try it out. Now it's time to try some fried okra. Not bad. I did get some rice. I don't know why I did, but I did. Mm. It is good rice. Everything's fantastic so far. Now this is their fried chicken right here. In the ranch. Let's go. Boom. Now it's time to try their famous mac and cheese. It is cheesy. That's good. I'm really excited to try out this fried fish. Mm. We have our first W. Oh, W. Alright, this is a jalapeno cornbread and a regular cornbread. Usually I eat cornbread with butter and I don't have any right now, so. Hey, bud. Hopefully this won't be too spicy. It's a little on the uh, spicier side, but. Regardless, I think this has been a solid round. Now I think it's time to get into round number two. All right, everybody, so we have round number two right here. I have their fried chicken, which apparently is supposed to be super good. You guys know I love fried chicken. One of my favorite things ever. A sweet potato mash with some marshmallows. I got a chopstick right there. And they also have cherry cobbler right here, which looks absolutely sensational. This is a fish filet right there. Mashed potatoes, because I need to get some more carbs in today. And probably the thing I'm most looking forward to in this round, we have bread pudding. This bread pudding looks absolutely amazing, and I don't really get good bread pudding where I live in San Diego, so. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna get into this fried chicken first. You know when the crunch hits, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Mm. That is delicious. Chopstick right here. I feel like I should not be eating this with my hands. Mmm. That would go perfect in this range. These potatoes are amazing. That's good.
All right, so the sausage is all down. I'm really looking forward to this right here. This is their cherry cobbler. Ooh, man, that looks amazing. Ooh, that's good. All right, now, fish pack. It's all right. I probably wouldn't get it again. Now, the thing I'm most looking forward to, this is their bread pudding right here. This looks amazing. No words. Gooey, gooey, and delicious. Bread pudding, so good. You guys nailed it. I told you, man. Cool, thank you so much. Obviously, I decided against the green beans. <laughs> All right, buddy, so round two is over. Everything's been amazing so far. Now it's time to get into the dessert round. They have great pies here and they have great cake. You guys know me, I love my sweets. So without further ado, it's time to get into round number three. Oh, looks so good. Oh man, I'm gonna love that one. Okay. Okay, perfect. Of course it's the holiday, so you gotta have your Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm a food guy. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different pies right here. This is pumpkin. This is a strawberry shortcake right here. Pecan pie. Can't remember the name of that one right now, but it looks good. Coconut pie and key lime pie. I'm not the biggest fan of key lime pie, but I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna be trying that. It's time to get in round number three. I'm just gotta start with the pumpkin first. Pumpkin pie. Boom. Mm. That is amazing. Goodness. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. I got cake now. Oh man. Oh man, the red velvet. Thank you so much. All right, so now I got cake. We got red velvet cake right there. And this is coconut. We got some coconut cake. Start my diet tomorrow. Just kidding. Now it's time for the key lime pie. Like I said earlier, I'm not the biggest fan of key lime pie, but I'm gonna try it anyways. I think I'm trying it anyways. I think I'm gonna have to skip that one. Let's go ahead and do this pecan, pecan pie right here. Now it's time to try the strawberry shortcake. Ooh. Ooh. That looks sensational. Everyone, we have it. That is going to get another W. Oh, definitely. Now, we're going to do the red velvet. Red velvet cake. I love red velvet cake. Boom. Oh my gosh. That is good. You know, everybody, sometimes you don't have to eat the entire slice of cake or the entire cake. Sometimes you can just enjoy things. You know, given the fact I just did an Iron Man, I just like enjoying everything right now. I just can't believe how good this is. That is legendary. This is cherry cheesecake? Not bad. Appreciate it. Oh, that was so nice of you. So this is from uh, uh, so Luby's. Okay. Right. Hey guys, if you're ever in Texas, you guys gotta come over to Luby's. Seriously. Good place, good people. Food. He can <laughs> food. Trust me, I'm a big guy. He can eat some food. <laughs> I was ashamed. <laughs> I love it, I love it. But, nice man, meeting you as well. You for sure, for sure. All right, everybody, so I have some cake. I decided I wanted to take, take some to go so I can enjoy it later. This is a coconut cake right here. Looks absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. And then this is like a coconut meringue.
cake. And they also sent me home with a goodie bag. I've never had a butter sugar cookie before. Let's see how this is gonna taste. Let's try it out. Not bad. Cookie was amazing. Now, let's get into the coconut cake. I gotta say my favorite thing at Luby's was, that fried fish was absolutely amazing. Their fried chicken was amazing. Pretty much everything was amazing. Just once again, a huge shout out to Luby's. Amazing. Mmm. That's definitely a eucalyptus leaf. It's definitely not edible. <laughs> all right, so gotta be honest with you all. The real reason why I decided to bring coconut pie back to the room is because I know Mrs. Electric loves coconut. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Very large. Mm. It's all right? Mm hmm. All right, everybody, the pie is complete. If you guys have made it this far up into the video, comment down below, chunky, because I feel pretty chunky right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just like that, everybody. That has been another video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This may not have been all in one sitting, but regardless, I felt like I wanted to do a different kind of food challenge this week. Something that I got to genuinely enjoy. If you guys wanna keep rocking with me and watching more food challenges, I'm gonna go ahead and put another video similar to this one right along the sidebar up there, along with a food challenge playlist that I think you're gonna enjoy. Of course, if you guys like this video and wanna see more, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.